Hello everyone, my name is Ashwara Singh and I am from BBA 6 semester. I hope you all are doing well and enjoying your quarantine period. So today I am here to give a short explanation on the presentation which I have made of international business management and the topic which I have chosen is pestle analysis. So without any further delay, let's move on to the topic. So here I have shown a diagram of pestle analysis and as you can see each alphabet in pestle stands for a different factor. P stands for political factor, E for economical, S for social, T for technological, E for environmental and L for legal factors. And also you can see the list of various factors under each head of pestle. You can go through it for a better understanding. Now let's discuss what is pestle analysis. Here I have mentioned a simple definition which is pestle analysis which is sometimes referred as pest analysis as a concept in marketing principles. Moreover, this concept is used as a tool by companies to track the environment they are operating in or are planning to launch a new project, product, service, etc. Pestle is a mnemonic which in its expanded form denotes P for political, E for economic, S for social, T for technological, L for legal and E for environmental. It gives a bird's eye view of the whole environment from many different angles that one wants to check and keep a track of while contemplating on a certain idea plan. Now next, let's move on to the next slide. So yes. Now we are going to do the pestle analysis of two countries which are Singapore and England. So here it is. First one is Singapore. So let's start with the pestle of Singapore. First factor is political. Singapore has a political stability. It has a free trade agreement. The level of corruption is low. The overall risk is also low. And the economic factor. Singapore has a resilient economy. The GDP is projected to grow at 2% in 2019. The infl inflation level is also low at, low at less than 3%. Corporate taxation is less than 20%. Singapore is supposed to have the highest per capita income. The social factors of Singapore. Singapore has an Asian culture. Singapore literacy levels are high. It has an eligible workforce for the economy. Education, at least at the primary level, is mandatory in Singapore. Average people work in white collar jobs and pay high taxes, and the cost of living is high. Technological factors The technological readiness in Singapore is strong. The physical infrastructure is grown with technology. The country has a fine logistics backbone to support business and the presence of strong e governance, which means high transparency. Next factor is legal factor. So it has a corporate and personal taxes. Freedom of speech and laws are strict and implementation is rigid. A national IP protocol is being created to give companies access to publicity funded IP. And the last factor is environmental factor. The risk of oil spillage in sea around the country are high. Secure waste treatment and disposal is critical in Singapore. Annual average temperature has increased and sea levels are rising. This is it. We are done with Singapore pastel analysis. Now next up we have England. So now we are going to do the pastel analysis of England. So first factor is political factor. So England is a stable and fair country that offers immense opportunities. It has a higher level uh, of influence and is focused on internal working. It is responsible and proactive government. Some form of well-hidden corruption is also there. Economic factors. It has a higher level of GDP with a diverse economy. After Brexit, England has left the Eurozone and since then there have been several changes in the economic conditions in England. Before the Brexit, UK has the fifth highest GDP. Next factor is social factor. The country offers a large number of benefits in respect to public services. The country cares for all the inhabitants within the country. It has a cosmopolitan environment, increasing and high ratio of dependency and the overall cost of education. Technological factor. 
England has a much better access to improved level of technology. It is increased level of expertise in the area of science and development. It has a better access to technology and the effective level of laws in consideration to the intellectual property rights. Now the next factor is legal factor. The code of corporate governance with UK is known to be flexible as well as robust. The government in UK also followed different policies for price control where the government controls the prices directly. It has a minimum wage rate. And the last factor is environmental factor. UK is surrounded by a large number of natural resources and the snowstorms and frequent floods result in the failure of local authorities. So here we are done with the second country pestle analysis which is England. So if you have any questions regarding to this topic please don't hesitate to interrupt me. You can ask any of your questions in the comment section. I will be answering all of it and here I am ending my presentation. Thank you so much. I hope you all like it and in future it will be helpful for you. Thank you so much.